in the time of COVID, we can't see our dealers at our trade shows and events. So this can just be a very high level overview of our line. And I'm going to put different photos up so you can see what Dale is talking about. Imagine you visited us at Interbike or Sea Otter, and you just wanted a really high level overview of our lineup. And for me, this is a must watch for anyone on your staff so they can be educated. Let's pretend I'm at Interbike. Rest in peace. Hey, Dale, I'm really interested in turn. Can you tell me about the lineup and what's key between all these different models? With all these bikes, when you present them, keep in mind, we designed a bike to ride great and happen to fold. And let's start with the acoustic bikes specifically. So think of these, these bikes as there's different platforms for different families of bikes. We start with the Link series of bikes. They, they are 20 inch wheels and I would call them entry to mid-level. And then you have Node, it's a bigger wheel version of what the Link offers. It's a entry to mid-level bike. You have the Verge, which is essentially a flat bar road bike. These are your faster bikes. These are your higher spec bikes. They're also 20 inch wheels or 451 wheels. And um, they, they are your mid-level to higher end. The Eclipse, which is a 26 inch version, also performance oriented like the Verge series of bikes, but they're, they're larger wheels. And again, flat bar road bike type feel, but folds and, and very convenient to put in your trunk. So keep that in mind. Link and Node are very similar, small wheel, big wheel. Verge and Eclipse, small wheel, big wheel higher end bikes. Let's look at the link and node, different wheel sizes. On the sales floor, how do I help figure out what to put under a customer for a test ride? That's a great question. Some of your customers need size. They need the smallest possible bike because it has to fit in a very specific and tight spot. Link and Verge are your bikes. Some people will look at the Lincoln Verge, and you, you, you've seen it. If you've if you sold these types of bikes over the years, you're going to have a customer go come in and go, you know, I used to play football, man, and my daughter rides a 20-inch bike, and this Link bike looks like hers. Yeah, come on, g- give me something a little bit, it's, you know. And in the Node, you show them the Node. Right after you show them the Link, they all of a sudden go, that's my bike, because it's quote unquote, bigger, it's more full size, but yet it folds just as easy as the link. It's not as small, but it's not that much bigger either. So a lot of times that's, that's your customer for the node series bike on the Eclipse side of things. Think, think of your fast commuter that, you know, maybe they have a road bike, maybe, you know, this is their second or third bike and they want to commute. But they're used to speed. They're used to higher end components. And, you know, they want to get to work. They don't want the bike stolen. So they want to fold it and bring it in. This is a great bike. Also, we've had a nice little run of the Eclipse X22 high end folding bike uh, with Ultegra. And people use those for triathlons. So when they travel, they don't have to have the high end triathlete triathlon bike hanging on the back of their trunk. They just put it in their trunk, travel, do their thing. And they're not worrying about weather or theft. The next bike came out right before COVID hit, and that's the BYB. I'm personally excited to travel because I can bring this bike with me. Can you tell us about the BYB? The BYB is a 20-inch wheel bike, and there's two models. And this is a bike that you want a little bit smaller fold as compared to the Link or the Verge, it folds 30% smaller, but it it retains a really nice ride. And that's one of the keys with all these bikes when you present them. Typical bike shops think about e-bikes, especially everyday e-bikes. They normally have one picture in their head. And as a brand, we actually have three different families of bikes that cross over somewhat but are very distinct in their needs. 
Can you kind of explain, especially to a sales staff, so that they can be asking the right questions to identify, you know, if the Vectron or the HSD or the GSD is the right bike for the customer in front of them? Great. Vectron, think about storage and security, which is your folding electric bike, and they have 20 inch wheels. They are the only Bosch equipped folding bikes in North America. The bike folds and it rides great at the same time. That makes it a really good commuter because you could bring it inside, fold it, but also put in a trunk. So it makes good for RVs and boats and just overall recreational use. Also, if somebody has tight space at home, it, it comes in really handy. And the fact that the one size fits most for, for the family, for the home, that may prove really important because they may only have one bike per family. That's the Vectron. The HSD, think of anybody who walks into your store looking for a recreational bike. You should put them on an HSD. Let them try it. And oftentimes you, you, you may get both spouses going, I love this bike. We can only afford one. And they buy it. And they both use it. So that bike is so versatile for your grocery runs or your passenger carrying for one passenger. But also, it's just a good bike to ride. So you don't need to haul groceries. You don't need to haul a passenger. But you absolutely can while enjoying the ride. Keep in mind also that um, it, it has vertical storage capability. So if storage is a challenge or you're commuting to work, you could also bring it inside, store it vertically, and it takes very, very little space. We highlight this in our HSD um, promo video, but something to really focus on here is also how are people going to be using their e-bike? Are they putting it on the back of their car to get to some place to ride? Or, you know, do they need to take it on vacation or something like that? And the HSD can really fit in a lot of small vehicles because the handle post folds out of the way. So that's something to also think about if they need one or two e-bikes and then a $900 bike rack on top of that, that, that adds up. GSD, last but not least. And you could do so much with it. Two passengers, 440 pounds total capacity. That, that's a lot. You can put groceries and things on the front, on the rear whether it's plywood, Christmas trees, two passengers, an adult passenger. Um, you, you can do so much, and yet the bike rides so good. It's still one size fits most, and it also has vertical storage, just like the HSD. GSD has proven successful to many of our dealers. I would actually love if dealers got in the practice, if somebody walks in looking for a burly or a child seat, to just introduce the GSD. And I say that because a child seat's good until a kid is two, maybe three if they're small. And a trailer, you know, you have weight limits and you have height limits. The GSD, I fit on the back of. So even if you're just introducing that idea as they're buying that burly, that would be wonderful just so that they can see like in the future, carrying their children or spouse along with them. In addition to these families of bikes, so Vectron, HSD, and GSD, there's also the accessory line. And, and, and it would be like terrible of me to not speak about that when talking about our bike lines. Because keep in mind, our, our bikes have purpose behind them. They're used for commuting. They're used to, to drop off kids. They're used to pick up groceries. They're used to, um, you know, store in a trunk. But our accessory lineup is something that I don't want our dealers to overlook because it's an opportunity to sell the customer something they need. And they may not have known they needed it. If, they, if, a, if a customer says, I'm, I'm going to the groceries, we have all sorts of panniers and racks and baskets to help accommodate that for all of our lineup. Same thing, hey, it's wet. Well, we have mud guards, you know, things like that. 
but there's little pouches for your wallet and keys. There's turn tool there, especially when you're thinking about GSD and HSD, the accessories to complement passenger carrying, whether they're big or small. Um, they're a lot of fun to sell, but when you sell them and you equip your, the bike correctly for your customer's potential use, what that means is they're going to enjoy their experience better. That means they're going to ride more. That means that they're going to enjoy, hey, visit so-and-so bike shop. They sold me this product. It's changed my life. You know, it's helped me reduce car trips. I'm healthier. I feel great. And the family's getting outside. I'm talking to my kids more. All sorts of things. And, and it's because you sold them the right accessories so they could do what they need to do with ease. That was really the overview of our bikes and a mention about the accessories. I hope this was helpful. And if you found it interesting, let us know in the comments and look for future training in other modules here on this platform.